Good morning, folks. Today we are going to spread some manure. Beautiful day. It's still chilly yet to plant, so we're going to get this manure spread and done. I got to run over to Bucky's and get 7800 so we can go hook onto one of the neighbor's spreaders. See you over there. There's the beauty. Chrome pipe. Well, ain't that just perfect? Both of my beverages fit in there. And I can set my phone there. Just bailing. That's the name of this console. Oh, can't forget the radio arm. Build a fence. Getting ready to go here. We got the spreaders. Gonna run two today. Got the bigger one on the 8100. That's our neighbor's tractor. And I got the smaller spreader on the 7800. Let's get after it. Let the games begin. That is quite the pile. There's a lot of crap out there. This could take a while. Just laid the first spread. Wow, that's, that actually did a really nice job. This little spreader is really, really nice, actually. This is the first time I've used this guy. I'm really liking it. That's a nice, thick spread there. 90 bushel beans, here we come. See it steaming? Oh yeah. That's that's some good fertile stuff right there. That pile's done. Clean it up a little bit. We might clean out that spot right there. <laughs> Jumping around for you. I'm not, a, I'm not a fence post here. Devin and I got the field cultivator hooked up. Got her pulled out here in front of the shop. We got to replace some sweeps. As I was backing up, I was like, man, you know how cool it'd be to have a 60, well, it'd be happy bigger than that, a 60 foot wide door to back like a planter in, fold it up. Maybe the hydro flex or hydro like fold doors. Here we are along a creek bed that we dug up trees and Leveled the dirt out from last summer. It's getting nice enough to out here working it up. The Raptilator. What an awesome tool for this job. Getting small little corners, crevices of the creek, around the bends. I'll come back with the coal mulcher and really level it up nice. We're gonna seed this to alfalfa along this creek bed. Oh, look at that, an old steering wheel off of a tractor. That's kind of interesting. This is gonna look nice. We'll be back this summer and we'll show you what it looks like. It's all green and growing. Two and a half years in the making. Time to clean her out. Doing a wheelie.
Look how tall this is there. It's about foot to 18 inches tall. That's gonna be tough. We might need to put boards there or something to help get up. Getting after her. Come on. You know it's thick. I mean, that little baby stopped in her tracks and she's snorting. These lights here are hanging down too low, so we're gonna try to move them up to the rafters there. Got it moved up. Let's see how it goes. Oh, perfect. Finished product, clean, can walk around, can't touch the ceiling anymore. You know what they like to say, so much more room for activities. Nice clean lot, happy as can be. Already starting for next year. Well, there you go. That's a wrap for spreading the 2022 bean crop. We got a good amount of fertilizer on. We got a fall spread. Just did the spring spread. Open 90 bushel beans. Let's get it. We're gonna drop the spreader back off. We'll see ya in a jiffy. You say to yourself, what is that menagerie? This is the beginning of X Games. To be continued. So the foam gasket is on the back of the console so it doesn't rub up against the window and squeak. Get ready for the mounting. I don't want to hide or waste another lie. It's not every day when you step into the cab of a tractor that you see some crazy wood apparatus like that. Well, everybody, this is what we call X Games. Got some angles, goes up in an X, that little in-between piece with that nice little trim on it, integrated into the drink holder. And if you're so inclined, you can put that up there as well. This here holds it rigid. This is mounted right here, as well as down there off the corner post. So you've got pressure on the seat and it swings underneath there. And then when you're at the back, you can't, you can't hit it back here. We're going to stick a wedge in so this doesn't lean back and get in here. Otherwise, this thing here could have only been like that much smaller and we're up in the corner. That is correct. This is inside of the cab of a 9620. You gotta love it. Place you can lay a sandwich while you're eating when you're in the long, busy hours of the spring and fall. And up here, you can set your phone. Right there. It's just sitting there and I'm just talking. You look at the wall of the shop. X Games. I forgot to mention one other feature added to X Games. This big hole up here, which is for like a 32 ounce Yeti tumbler. Nice and tied up against the window. Got my foam in there, pushing on that. Look at that, that is just in there so stout. I would have went over that stuff, but you can see there's a 12 volt plug-ins and cell phone lighter. 
and I wanted to be able to get in there and a little cubby hole here, you know, if you want to set your wallet or something. This is totally refreshing. Handle, 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 all the way to the top, no brake. Now we show the exit strategy. You step out on the step, you grab the handle, you turn your body, you step down, step down, step down. Oh no, brake, I gotta grab for the other handle. Oh no, it's one continuous handle. All the way to the ground. Nice. Hey YouTube, little uh, project on the 9430. It's like a Tuesday. Looks like it's gonna rain tomorrow. The cab here on this 9430, there's this uh, switch right here. It's called a decelerator switch. Tell it to a waterway or you get into your end rows. You can be going through in the same gear, you push that decelerator switch and it'll idle you down. I think it's a percentage of what your what your throttle is. So that's pretty nice. Come to waterway, end rows, whatever push that it'll idle you down you don't have to shift gears going around we got the just two wires going to that so we're going to test her out see if it works here's the tractor we got to run at 2100 right now hit our d-cell switch it goes to 1470 we're going to adjust that on here i got it at 65 percent we'll see how that does kind of for the speed when you're going through the field Total six bye bye Headed for Port Charlotte, Florida. Gonna miss you. It's time to move on. Thanks to PCI. There goes the 1206. It's been a good run, 12, but time for someone else to enjoy your redness and whiteness and international funness. Later.